Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll exploring NixOS, a unique Linux distribution that might just change the way you think about system configuration and package management. I will show you how you can install NixOS in a base configuration plus the window manager Qtile. NixOS comes with standout features. The most special one is a declarative system configuration. In one single file, in the configuration.nix file, you can define the overall system setup, including the packages, the software applications, the user configurations, the bootloader, and any other system configuration for your personal Linux system. And the smart thing is here that you can transfer this configuration file to other computers to other PCs and replicate the original setup immediately. So we have on both systems the same system setup. Every time you change the configuration, you need to rebuild the system. You need to recompile the configuration file. It's done with one command. But the nice side effect here is that the system creates um, a snapshot. So you can roll back to a running system at any time easily. Even if NixOS comes with graphical installers for selected desktop environments, I prefer the command line installation. With that, I have everything under control and can really define the system how I like it. In this video, we will execute several commands to install NixOS. To make your life easier, I have created a cheat sheet for you the Nix installation cheat sheet where all commands are listed. Just follow the steps one by one. You can find the link to the cheat sheet in the description below. And don't forget, if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel. Let's start. First, we have to download the NixOS ISO file. We go to nixos.org, click here on download, scroll down to the minimal ISO image section and download here the 64-bit Intel AMD version. Now we can start the virtual machine manager and create a new virtual machine. I choose the ISO file that we have just downloaded. NixOS is already detected. Forward. 8 gigabytes RAM and 12 CPUs for my virtual machine. A hard disk of 50 gigs should be fine now for testing. I name that virtual machine Nixo SQ tile and I customize the configuration before the installation. The firmware is not BIOS, it's UEFI. The CPUs, I want to change the topology once socket six cores to threads based on my 12 selected CPUs. The boot option, important. Here you have to activate the CD-ROM and move it to the top that we can start from the ISO. The ISO is already in that virtual CD-ROM. And that's it for now. Video QXL is fine, Display Spice is fine as well. And we can start with the installation. I select the first entry, the installer. And now we are here on the welcome screen of NixOS and we can start with the installation. First, we switch to the root user. Now we are root user and I change the keyboard layout with the load keys, DE Latin one. We check the internet connection with ping archlinux.org and we have an internet connection. Let's clear the terminal and check the available hard disks with LSBLK. And you see our main hard disk is VDA. And this is now the hard disk where we need to create a partition. So with parted dev VDA MK label GPT. Then we can create the main partition with parted slash dev slash VDA 
make partition primary. We create the partition between 512 megabytes and minus eight gigabytes. Swap partition is the next one. Linux swap from minus eight gigs to the end of the hard disk. And the last one is our boot partition. Here we need to create a FAT32 partition, ESP FAT32. Start point is 1M megabytes to the 512 megabytes. And now we need to activate the last partitions with parted set three ESP on. This is required because it's an UEFI disk installation. And now we can start to format the partitions. MKFS X4 L Nix OS slash dev slash VDA1. Now we can create the swap partition with mkswap shl swap slash dev slash vda2. And we can activate the swap file already with swap on slash dev slash vda2. Next is the boot partition. Here we install it with fat dash f32 and boot is the name slash dev slash vda3. Now we can start mounting the partitions with mount slash dev slash disk by label nixos into the folder mount. Then we create the folder for the boot partition with mkdir p slash mount boot. There is a typo slash boot. And then we can mount this, the boot partition by label boot into that new directory. And now we are ready to install by creating the famous NixOS configuration file with NixOS generate config into the new mount directory. Done. Perfect. And we can open this configuration file with nano. Nano is already installed with MNT etc nixos configuration. So we can check already if we have a bootloader configured. Yes, it, this is in the bootloader. I also need to activate the network manager to get an internet connection. The time is in my case, Berlin. This is fine. I load the default locale, the console font, and I also want to load directly a new editor. I will uncomment the environment system packages. And this is the place where we can install additional packages. For example, Vim. This is what I want. Okay, now I can save the file with Control O. And I leave the configuration file with Control, with Control X. Let's clear the terminal. And now we are ready to install the system with NixOS install. Now we have to define the root password and the installation is finished. Perfect. Let's try to reboot the system. And here is the bootloader. Let's start with NixOS. 
and it's very fast and we can log in. We can now log in with the root user and the password that we have just given in the installation and we are in the system. Let's load again the German keyboard layout. Perfect. Then I want to create a system user with user at dash C. My name M and my username. And I change the password with pass WD label. I define a password and the user is added. We can open now the configuration file with vim etc nix os configuration nix. Yeah, and vim is working correctly. This is very good. And now we can add the user. And this is the section that is needed to configure the user Rabe. Rabe is a normal user, that's why it's set to true. The home directory is home Rabe. The description is Stefan Rabe. And the extra group is wheel. Yeah, take care that the brackets are closed here and that behind every command is a semicolon. Let's close the file and rebuild the configuration. And this must be done every time you change something on the configuration file with nix os rebuild switch. There is no error or typo in the configuration file. If there is something wrong, the compiler will add a notification. But in that case, everything works fine. Let's reboot. And now you see already, and this is the nice thing on NixOS, that a second entry has been added. And I try to log in with my new user and I'm in the system. Perfect. Now we want to start with the installation of Qtile. And now we can open the file, this time with sudo, sudo bim etc nixos configuration. Okay, when we scroll down again to the environment section, we can add here additional packages. And the packages are Qtile, of course, Alacrity. We want to have Chromium as our browser. Git. Pycom for desktop effects, Rofi as application starter, and Nitrogen for setting up a wallpaper. And I also want to have a graphical editor with xfce.mousepad. I can select the, the main editor of the xfce desktop environment. Okay, in addition, I want to have Thuna as my file manager. Programs.thuna.enable equals true. Before we can start with the installation, we have to enable the X server. I can define here an X server layout, DE. I have to say NixOS, hey, please use Qtile as my window manager with services x server dot window manager dot qtile dot enable equals true and that's it to configure qtile let's give it a try let's save the file clear the terminal rebuild the configuration with sudo nix os rebuild switch. And now additional packages will be downloaded from the server. Okay, installation of the additional packages is done. I want to 
switch off my virtual machine for a moment, sudo shutdown. Now, because I have to change something in the configuration. I enable now a new video model with virt.io, I enable the 3D acceleration. And in the display bytes, I activate OpenGL and the listen type to none. And let's start the machine again. And now we should have 3D acceleration enabled. And hey, here is the light DM. That's perfect. Seems to work fine. And Qtile is available here as our window manager. Let's try to log in. And here is Qtile. NixOS has proven again how multi-dimensional the Linux distributions are today. Everyone can find a Linux distribution that fits to the personal needs. And I have to say this distribution makes me thinking a bit switching from Arch to NixOS. Let's see what happens later this year. With that, see you next time.